We finally have an update on the clinical trial testing anti-USAG1 antibodies for tooth regeneration. As a reminder, if successful, this treatment will primarily be for children with congenital tooth deficiency or tooth agenesis, at least to start. But the scientists have said on multiple occasions that it has the potential for broader tooth regeneration applications afterwards, if all goes to plan. The phase one clinical trial has been completed according to a press release by the company co-founded by Dr. Takahashi. They have found the drug infusion to be safe for humans in their phase one trial, but we haven't seen the data for ourselves as of yet. They've also announced that they're talking to the FDA in the US, so it looks like they're planning some clinical trials stateside. They've held pre-IND meetings, which just provide information to Dr. Takahashi's team in preparation for the submission of an IND application. Investigational new drug or IND applications are formal requests to the FDA for permission to test an unapproved drug or biological product in humans. So at this meeting, they were getting feedback on their R&D program, the design of their studies, the product manufacturing and quality controls needed to initiate human studies, and more. Really exciting stuff to ring in 2026. I'll continue following this story, and I'll let you know where things go. To learn more about the science behind Dr. Takahashi's Phase 1 clinical trial, head over to the channel and watch Dr. Lila's first video on tooth regeneration.